Hi, this video is brought to you by Tech Direct Archive. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix this issue. The term JIT is not recognized as the name of a commandlet function, script file, or operable program. So, what am I trying to say? Let me go into my IDE now. So, let us assume you want to launch um, a command that you need uh, JIT for. Let's say I want to initialize JIT init, and I get this uh, error. So, what should come up into your mind is um, there are two things that could have happened. It's either JIT is not installed on your system, or you need to reinstall JIT on your system. Probably, probably maybe when you were um, installing that JIT, your um, command prompt was opened down. So it was not installed properly. So what you need to do is first, you need to check to your control panel and uh, see if um, JIT is installed. The second thing you need to also check for is to see whether the JIT path was configured properly. If uh, the JIT path is not uh, done properly, then you need to manually configure it. So I'm going to show you these two steps, um, installing the JIT on your system and also configuring the JIT path manually. Let me confirm if I have JIT installed on my system through the control panel. I will go to programs, programs and features. Then you can search for JIT here. I do not have JIT installed on my system. So what I need to do now is to install JIT on my system. So I uh, will go to um, to the to search for JIT. So this is the link to download it. I'm going to click on it. So I'm going to check for the version I need. I'm presently using Windows. Windows is my system. So let me download the latest release download for Windows. So I'm just going to click this. So I'm going to check for the installable one that I just need to click. Uh, my system is also 64 bit. So I'm going to make it a 64 bit JIT for Windows setup. This is a standalone installer. So this is what I need. I'm going to click on it. So the download should start any moment from now. So aside from that, another way to also install uh, uh, JIT is by using this command. So sometimes if uh, you click on any of this link and it's not loading, so I discovered that the page was not opening so I use this uh, command this winget command so I'm currently downloading um, the JIT latest version now so once it finish then um, I'll be able to make use of the JIT file So I've been able to download the JIT file now. This is it. So I'm going to run it now. So I was able to run 
the JIT now. I have it on my system. So let me, let's confirm that JIT. So this is JIT. We now have both the JIT bash and the JIT UI on my system. So this is, let me, JIT. So it's now running on our system. So now let me try the um, command again. Let's see what the response will be. JIT init. So we are still having the same issue. So um, I'm going to restart my system now and see if it's going to correct that. And also I will try this uh, second option configuring the JIT part manually. So that will be able, that should be able to correct the current error that is uh, popping up. So the next thing to do now is to confirm the location of the JIT file that was installed. So it's inside my program files. So this is, I will also open the CMD folder. Then I'm going to copy this and place it into the um, variable. So I need to copy. Let me copy it. I copy. Then I go into the environment variables. You can search for environment variable. Um, I already I have it open recently. So I'm going to click my system environment variable now. So once the system properties open, then I open the environment variables. Then under system variables, you will see path. Click on it. Double click on it. Then you get to see sometimes the JIT location may not be added. So what you just have to do is to click new, then you paste. So I've I've already added it now. So once you paste it here, just click OK. 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 So once that is done, then you can try and launch the command again and see whether uh, it's going to open without that JIT error manifesting itself. So after adding it to your system environment variables, you can now try and launch the command again and see if it's going to throw that error. Cheat. So as you can see, the error is no longer popping out. So this is um, the second way of fixing that error by adding your JIT um, installation, the location, copy the location and uh, um, the path inside your system environment variables. But you also need to understand that um, when you are installing this JIT, try as much as possible to make sure that uh, your command prompt is presently not uh, open. So you need to close it whenever you are installing your JIT. Make sure you close it because if you do not close it, it's going to affect the whole installation and you may you, you, you still need to uninstall once again, all over again. So just make sure your command prompt is not open because the JIT also require the command prompt um, uh, files whenever is um, the installation process is going on. So you need to always close it so that every process, every installation will be done properly. So these are the ways you can um, fix the issue of uh, uh, this issue of it is not recognized as the name of a commandlet function script file or program 
so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching